Okay, let's go in and work with the left pan, a pan called the folders pan. And I'm thinking here about importing pictures, working with folders, and so on. We can see up here favorite. If you want to add any folders to favorite, I go into my device. Here's my hard drive. And if I go in here and click users, then you can see here there's only one user. And here is many of my folders. Right now, I already have added pictures to my favorites, images as my favorites, and my desktop. Let's say that I wanted to add music or movies. Let's say movies. So I take the folder, and I drag it up here, add it up here somewhere where I would like it to sit, and just release. So that's the way you add a folder to your favorites. So when you have an SSD card or any external source, an external hard drive and so on, as soon as you attach it to your computer, you should be able to see it in here in the left panel or the folders panel. So here I'm now setting in an SSD card, put it in. And if you look here at the removable volumes, you can see here now, here is an SSD card called the Canon DC. It comes from my camera. It adds itself here to removable volumes. So if I expand that, you can see here already now, you can see there's two more folders in here. And one of them is where my pictures are. So if I expand that, then you can see here my virus program right away because it is an external source. I just added the virus program will in right away to see if there's any chances that it carries viruses. And then you can see here, now I'm in my SSD card. I have here the three folders where pictures are located. And if I click on the first one here, you can see here now pictures are coming up. Then it asks me, removable devices are currently excluded from the ACDC database because that's how it was set up. Do you want to add removable devices to your database? And of course I want to do this. So I go in and say yes. So now I have answered that question. And now you can see here, I can go in now and see the pictures that I have. If I then decide that these first pictures that I have here, I want to transport them into a specific folder of mine, then I'll just highlight the first one, perhaps hold down the shift key because I want that whole range here, click on the right side of the mouse, and then simply go in and say, copy folder to, and then say browse. Now I can go into pictures or images. Let me say pictures. In here, I can add a new folder. Let's say this was, um, it has a specific date. So let me just say 2015. It's in months so and so. And let's say it's the 12th. And then simply say parade in Manhattan. And then say create. And then I just say copy. You will see now that the nine items that I highlighted is now getting copied because I highlighted only these nine. I could have highlighted everything that was in my folder and then I could copy it over. So if I go up here under pictures and you can see here on the pictures, I have the new folder that I created. You can even see pictures here on my, and as soon as I click here, here is my pictures. So now I have taken pictures from an SSD card, copied them into a location on my hard drive. I could, if let's say I had an external hard drive, either one that's connected to the computer or I could have a NAS drive, a NAS drive that is located on my network, then I could have copied it directly into there. That's how you import pictures from an SSD card into a specific folder on your computer. And from there on, you can start working with your pictures. Yeah.